Hi there, it's Carrie from GetNorwexWebsite.com. I wanted to show you how to change the uh, text on the home page of your website. When you're logged into the back end of your site, when you've gone to your admin panel and logged in, your site will look like this. Uh, when you're in there, if you click here where it says Online Catalog, a second window will open up at the top of your screen and that will show you the front end of your site. So here is the main page of your site and this is where we want to change some text. So when you're in the back end of your site, to change the text for your home page, you go to Tools, scroll down to Define Pages Editor and click it. When you do that, you get a little drop down list. You also see a text editor here. Don't change that, leave it where it is, please. But on the drop down list, if you scroll down to the one that says Define Main Page and give it a click and wait a sec, you'll see that the text that is on your home page will show up. Okay, so to edit this text, uh, it's just a matter of typing in the box. So say that I wanted to add something here. I can do that. And if I save it, then and I refresh on my main page, then I see that's what I just did. Uh, there are quite a few things you can do on that main page or on any of the pages of your site when you change your text. You can uh, move the text from left to right to the center. You can justify it if you want. That means that it'll fill from the left to the right and it'll leave as much space as, as needed between words, which can look funny, so I don't tend to do that. You can make the text teeny and tiny or really, really large if you want to do that. Uh, you can change the color of the text with the color button. You can highlight behind the text. Say you wanted to announce something really exciting like a contest on your site. You can highlight the background by doing that. Um, you can change the font. There aren't a ton of choices of font. The reason for that is that some people's computers only read these fonts that are on this list and so you don't want to choose one that a lot of computers won't read properly. Uh, if you want to add a picture to your site, you would use this little postcard stamp up here, give it a click. When the box opens, your tendency would be to choose uh, to click here on Browse Server. If you do that, you're going to get either an error message or um, you'll get this thing saying you've chosen to download, which you don't want. That's not where you click, even though it seems like you should. Where you, where you click is here on the Upload tab. So click to the Upload tab, then browse to your computer. Uh, just uh, you know, scroll through your pictures until you find something that you think is what you want and click it, send it to the server. You'll get a little message saying your file has been successfully uploaded and you say OK and there's your there's the picture right there. Uh, this alternative text, the reason for having that, there are two reasons. One is that if somebody's um, browser doesn't read pictures, then the text will tell them what the picture is supposed to be about. And the other reason for having it is that it gives you a chance to put some keywords into your site that search engines can in some cases pick up. So you might say, in this case, Norwex home party. That's good enough. And click OK and then the, there's the picture. So if I save it and then I refresh on the main page, I will see that picture. You can see that it's too large for the page. You can either upload it in a smaller version or what I like to do, makes it easier and quicker, is uh, you just literally click on the picture, find the corner of it, and drag it down. Okay, you can, uh, if you clicked on the picture, you can move it left, you can move it right, you can put it in the center, uh, click save, refresh the page, and there you go. Okay, so that's the basics of how you make changes to the home page of your website and uh, I hope you have fun doing that.